Meanwhile, in Florida last night, Governor Ron DeSantis signed the Heartbeat Protection Act into law, banning abortions once an unborn baby's heartbeat is detected at six weeks. And while pro-lifers are praising the move, the White House is expressing outrage. White House correspondent Owen Jensen has more. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Tonight, the White House is especially upset because Florida has become a destination state for women seeking an abortion who live in nearby states where it's already been banned. And for pro-life groups, this is another reason for hope. Governor Ron DeSantis signing Florida's newest pro-life law. He says it expands pro-life protections and provides additional resources for young mothers and families. His office adds, while other states like California and New York have legalized infanticide up until birth, Governor DeSantis has enacted historic measures to defend the dignity of human life and transform Florida into a pro-family state. And today he spoke to students during convocation at Liberty University in Virginia. When common sense suddenly became an uncommon virtue, Florida stood as a refuge of sanity a citadel of freedom for people throughout our country and indeed throughout the world. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre attacked the pro-life bill. Her statement calls it an extreme and dangerous new abortion ban, adding the ban flies in the face of fundamental freedoms and is out of step with the views of the vast majority of the people of Florida and of all the United States. And during a trip to New York, Vice President Kamala Harris told a civil rights organization and just yesterday in Florida, extremists there signed a six-week ban before most women even know they're pregnant. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden travels across Ireland visiting County Mayo, including a stop at the Sanctuary of Our Lady Knock, where he took a tour with a parish priest, Father Richard Gibbons. The Knock Shrine is an international Eucharistic and Marian shrine, a place of pilgrimage. Pope John Paul II, Mother Teresa, and Pope Francis have all visited. Now, the pilgrimage site is where, in August of 1879, Mother Mary, St. Joseph, and St. John the Evangelist all appeared along a stone wall. Also, President Biden will be flying back from Ireland tonight, and he's scheduled to spend the weekend at Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.